1947, a nation is created, but for it to prosper, a nation builder is needed. A reformer who is bold and ambitious to change the fate of his countrymen, a leader who holds the hearts and minds of the people. Muhammad Nawaz Sharif's vision for Pakistan is of tolerance, peace, modernity and progress. Leading by example in his illustrious career, he introduced real change through privatization, deregulation and liberalized economy. A pro business and a first rate economic visionary leader, Muhammad Nawaz Sharif is the first political leader to give economic development a priority in policy, benefiting the common man by bringing financial empowerment. The economic landscape of Pakistan was fraught with red tapism and bureaucratic controls, a legacy of ill advised centralized planning and state control over resources. In the 1990s, in his two stints in power, which were interrupted by the forces of status quo, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif brought about economic reforms through privatization of industry and by overhauling the legal regimes regulating the Pakistani economy. This resulted in accelerated economic growth. Known for being an implementer, he executed measures that previous governments merely talked about. The Privatization Commission was set up two months after the Sharif government took over in January 1991. It has been successful in privatizing over 50 of the 115 units of the public sector, including nationalized banks. The visionary leadership of Muhammad Nawaz Sharif also achieved a tax-to-GDP ratio of 14.6%. The descending trend of the tax to GDP ratio after the Sharif government from the year 1999 caused a loss of thousands of billions of rupees to Pakistan. The current tax to GDP ratio has declined to 8.2%. Restrictions on the free movement of foreign currency were removed by Muhammad Nawaz Sharif and resident Pakistanis and companies were allowed to maintain foreign currency accounts in Pakistan on the same basis as non-residents. Muhammad Nawaz Sharif also introduced green channels for Pakistanis on airports to facilitate easy access for those traveling with goods of personal use, thus making international businessmen, investors and returning expatriates feel at ease and at home without any unnecessary hassle. The great facilitation for the local traders by Prime Minister Sharif was the removal of octroi tax. Futuristic in his vision, Muhammad Nawaz Sharif foresaw the importance of constructing a matching infrastructure to support his economic reforms. He embarked on a quest to make Pakistan the transportation hub of connecting South and Central Asia to Middle East and the Far East. The Gwadar Port Project, which has the potential of revolutionizing Pakistan's economy. He was the one who conceived the idea of Gwadar Port and initiated the project. Nawaz Sharif established the international airports of Karachi and Lahore, built on international specifications. This progressive plan defined the horizons of international trade. This set the stage for Pakistan economy to become one of the strongest economies of the world at that time. Major labor-intensive infrastructure development projects were the cornerstone of the PMLN administration. The most notable project was the motorway. which has brought billions of rupees worth trade to the region. He started the dualization of National Highway, constructed the Kohar Tunnel and Makran Coastal Highway. He is also credited with initiating the Ghazi Brotha Heidel project and Chashma nuclear power plant. Today, these are an essential part of Pakistan's power and energy infrastructure. 300 megawatts Chashma nuclear power plant is a pressurized water reactor which began commercial operation in 2000. Similarly, Ghazi Brotha Hydro Power Project is a state-of-the-art power project with five turbines and a total installed capacity of 1450 megawatts. Prime Minister Sharif carried numerous projects of public welfare including kidney centers that help poor people. 
he established labor colonies and distributed state land to landless laborers, farmers and those living at river banks. With a special farmer empowerment campaign, he constructed 5,000 kilometers farm-to-market roads. Prime Minister Sharif laid out the infrastructure for electrification of 5,000 villages and major development and conservation water resources initiatives were launched. These were the people-focused projects that moved Pakistan in the direction of its constitutional obligation of creating a social welfare state. The Yellow Cab project was a step to empower people and to create an employment opportunity for thousands of people in Pakistan. During Muhammad Nawaz Sharif's government, financial institutions were restructured which helped Pakistan's stock market reach a record high. That was the era of absolute progress and growth. Today, the telecommunications sector is a major pillar of the economy. It was Muhammad Nawaz Sharif who brought a revolution in the field of telecommunication and introduced cellular phone networks in Pakistan. During his administration, fiber optic cable was laid out widely in Pakistan for the first time. Pakistan is among the top 10 countries in the world in teledensity. Muhammad Nawaz Sharif understood the contemporary needs of telecommunication and digitalization and initiated digital-based telecommunication network in the country. Muhammad Nawaz Sharif initiated the JF-17 project which aimed to reduce Pakistan's dependence on Western firms for advanced fighters by fielding a low-cost multi-role lightweight fighter that would host modern electronics and represent a step up from its Chinese MiG-19 and 21 derivatives and French Mirage fighters. Taking charge of food security, Pakistan invested in high-yield wheat and in 1998, for the first time in the history of Pakistan, the country exported wheat to the global markets. This is stated as one of the biggest achievements in the agricultural sector. Some other significant achievements include NFC Award and Indus Water Accord to strengthen the relations between the provinces, formation of 10 new commercial and 20 investment banks, record GDP growth rate of 7.7% in 1991, new investment policy to modernize industry, $5 billion investment in textile sector, and incorporation of 200 new companies in stock market in less than two years. Supported by millions, Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz is the party with the only leader who has walked the talk, delivered excellence and led his people from the front. Today, hundreds of projects he initiated are serving millions of Pakistanis. Sustainable development, liberal economic policies and a commitment to economic growth and prosperity of Pakistan. The future belongs to the people of Pakistan and PMLN. Led by the charismatic leadership of Muhammad Nawaz Sharif, the reformist, the modernist, the democrat and the leader Pakistan needs. He serves all Pakistanis without any distinction of religion, ethnicity or language. Muhammad Nawaz Sharif, a symbol of consistency, excellence and responsible change. Nawaz Sharif, the leader you can trust.